In this video, I just wanted to share uh, some pretty cool footage that happened when I was on one of my trips recently. Uh, I go out every week and film what we call insider reports and basically go out on the water and I'll do a whole trip, I'll record it, I'll do uh, all the highlights of the trip showing what I'm using, showing exactly where I'm at and the trends so that our insider members can get a good idea of what to do when they get out there on the water either the next day or the following week or even the weekend as long as the conditions are same and that's what we really do uh, in our insider club is help people catch more fish in less time by sharing these trips with them so I wanted to share this trip I uh, was able to catch a pretty decent sized little tarpon in some backwater areas and the way I caught it was pretty interesting so let's take a look so you're going to see here I make a cast parallel to the trees right here and notice that plume of mud that went up right there as a manatee took off. Was too busy looking at that, had the lure just dangling in the water at the end of the retrieve and this happens. Oh. <laughs> wow. <laughs> I just set it right next to the kayak and he hit it. Tarpon. Slam shady. <laughs> And there goes the slam shady. That's pretty funny. I had stopped to look because the manatee just went past. <laughs> stopped, stopped the lure and just had it hanging in the water, and he grabbed it. That is funny. Again, that tarpon was on the Slam Shady 1 8 ounce uh, 3 aught twist lock hook on your twist lock, and I've got 25 pound Berkeley Vanish fluorocarbon leader. Bumped up the leader a little bit. I was using 20 pound, but got broke off on a tree when I hooked one tarpon. So it bumped it up to 25 just for a little bit of extra security all kinds of fish in this little creek so as you can see lure presentation can be key when you are actually in an area where there's active feeding fish you know I was working that area pretty hard because I knew there were some tarpon in the area but my retrieve just wasn't working and what actually worked happened to be when I paused the lure uh, that seemed to be what got those tarpons attention and it was on accident so you really never know when you're out there so it's highly recommended to definitely switch up your presentation of your lure the one that I was using in particular as I mentioned in the video was our slam shady paddle tail this is a three and a half inch paddle tail and I had it rigged up on a 3 aught one eighth ounce owner twist lock hook and I was using 25 pound leader and 10 pound braid and that setup works really well especially if you're fishing around structure and going after tarpon and snook so that will wrap up this video again be sure to check out that insider club where you can see the full report footage I actually caught four different species on this trip using our slam shady paddle tail and also the Alabama leprechaun soft plastic jerk shad so definitely be sure to check that out till next time thanks for watching and I'll see you on the next video